State woman is behind bars after a deadly DUI crash Friday afternoon in Spartanburg County. Her bond hearing was this afternoon. 7 News' Sophia Radebaugh listened in. Very emotional testimonies from the family members of the victim were given on Saturday at the bond hearing of Lindsay Stanton, who is facing multiple charges, including felony DUI with death. When I called, she went answer the phone. And I kept calling and I kept calling. An upstate family now grieving the loss of their grandmother, 66 year old Sarah Ann Fernandez, after she was killed in a DUI accident on Christmas Eve. I don't know what I'm supposed to tell my baby when she gets out of surgery and she's looking for her nana because that was her best friend. South Carolina Highway Patrol said the crash happened at 3.02 p.m. on Nazareth Road near Spartanburg Road. Troopers say Stan was heading east on Nazareth Road while Fernandez was headed west on the same road. She was going at a very high rate of speed. She made an indication that she had been to A1 nail salon. Highway Patrol says Stanton traveled into the other lane and hit Fernandez's car head on. Fernandez was pronounced dead from impact at the scene. Stanton was taken to the hospital with injuries. Fernandez's great granddaughter was riding with her and had to be airlifted to the hospital. Her great granddaughter, Jill Miller Yarn, was in the back seat. Um, she was severe, severe uh, injuries to her yarn. She's in surgery as we speak right now. When they got there, officials also found drugs in Stanton's car. She had approximately 29 pills of Xanax or um, ecstasy, excuse me, ecstasy in the uh, car in her purse yarn. Saturday during Stanton's bond hearing, advocates against driving under the influence spoke on the family's behalf. It's Christmas. This family is having to spend it planning a funeral for a grandmother and mourning. Um, mourning her and also praying for the recovery of a great grandchild. The magistrate judge said for the two felony DUI charges Stanton is facing, bond will not be set. Stanton will be heading to circuit court. For the possession with intent to distribute charge, a bond of $5,000 was set. We're told that Stanton is currently being held here at the Spartanburg County Detention Center in Spartanburg. Sophia Radabaugh, 7 News. Both the victim and Stanton's children go to the same school. The judge also gave a no contact order for anyone from Stanton's family to reach out to Fernandez's family. Turn